Team Talk. Team Talk, truth to the youth. Honey proof. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We out here, round the circle. ATL. Start the morning off right. Things on my mind, had to unwind. Get to you straight, you know, right. You know how to do Real talk. Truth to the youth. Let's get it. What I wanted to talk to y'all about was how you're being manipulated and being manipulated and um, you're brought up in a culture in an environment where you're influenced everybody's influenced by what goes on around them and what's going on around you of course is a lot of influence a lot of peer pressure uh, that your parents didn't have to deal with to the same degree you know we understand that technology allows a lot of this stuff to get to you but even more so is how music, entertainment in general has evolved. And uh, the mind of man, you know, the things they say, the things they do. And I'm talking about men and women, I'm talking about culture, I'm talking about society, I'm talking about people, not uh, specifically men. Um, but, so, especially in the music and in television, even in the games, but primarily music and television, that's what I'm speaking about, you got to be sure that you understand and, and are aware of the fact that you can't live out your life by practicing the words of what you hear in the lyrics of songs. You, know, you cannot live like that. This is supposed to be entertainment and not something for you to try to emulate. It's not something for you to practice in your life. And some of you may say, nah, I don't do that, I don't do that. I got more sense than that, I realize that. Some of y'all straight up know me. You're constantly trying to emulate it. And, you know, that, that, that's, that says nothing about you. That's what people do. That's why marketing works. That's why you see national brands hiring artists and everything to shout out their name and do promotions and everything because it works. What they say, what they do, what you see that's attached to them because of their stardom and the effects that it has on people, it influences you to make a decision. Now, like I said, sometimes it's at a conscious level and sometimes it's at a subconscious level. You don't even realize it. Some of y'all are saying, I'm not influenced and it doesn't affect me, are being manipulated not necessarily um, intentionally, but at the same token, if it is ingrained in your subconscious, then that's going to have an effect on the decision you make when time comes. So if you keep hearing how everybody is getting high, then it's nothing for you to get high when somebody offers you some weed. If, you, you know, if you're not one of the people that already is copying that distributing, you know what I mean? And that's just real talk. And um, the same thing with sex with everybody. The same thing with wanting to be a hustler. Same thing, man. You cannot live out the words you hear in the music. You can't live out the roles you see played on TV. It's not being said to you enough in the right way that this stuff is just entertainment and don't ruin your lives by trying to follow behind it. Um, and that's why I felt it was so important to make this video, or you know, to, to speak those words here on this video or this stuff. But um, now you you may think that I'm overreacting. I'm just an old fart overreacting, you know making a mountain out of a whole hill. But I say to you, that there are, you see, y'all are dealing with more than your parents deal with, but I got to say, I believe you guys are smarter than we were also. And it's just, again, how society naturally progresses. It doesn't necessarily mean we make better choices, but I mean, uh, as society, because everything evolves. When you include technology and uh, the proliferation of media, you know, and then you have people becoming more and more superficial and having a meet attitude, but that throws a lot of stuff in the game where the increase in knowledge of society is not necessarily the best interest of the people. So you guys are smarter and you had the capability to achieve more than your parents ever did. You have the tools to achieve more than your parents ever did and you have the, uh, because you have the mindset to achieve more than your parents ever did. Well, you have the mentality to achieve more than your parents ever did. But your mindset, the way that you think, is thrown off course a little because of, at a subconscious level, you're being affected, affected negatively by what's going on around you. And so some of y'all have even realized the need to make plans for the future. Uh, going to college and you want to be a lawyer, doctor, whatever, judge, you know, you got these plans. And if you think I'm exaggerating, you can look at some of your peers, depending on how old you are, or you can look at, or you can look at the number of dropouts. <laughs> You can look at people who have those goals and ambitions who do graduate, but by the time they graduate, or as soon as they graduate, they ruin their records. Either selling drugs, uh, getting DUIs, or 
having two or three kids by that time, or having a disease by that time, um, because of uh, uh, largely due to the choices they made, whether it's sexual or uh, alcoholism or even being addicted to drugs, you know, it's sad. So you can't re you can't say that I'm exaggerating or overreacting when all you need to do is look around in your community and you can see if some of y'all are lucky enough to be in a community where these things are not a problem, uh, all, I, all I tell you is to look at the young adults or that are on the corner. Some can't get a job because of their records. Some are winos or drug addicts or alcoholics because of trying it. And why are you influenced to try it? Well, what's keeping you from not trying it? Like I said, again, in entertainment, they got presented as being cool. They present using, selling as being cool. So you may know better, but at the same time, when it's presented to you, you're saying, what's the harm? I'll just try it. And you're able to make that decision. I'm going to say that dumb decision because it's so easily accepted. If you hear it on the radio or see it on TV, and society is not an uproar about it being presented to you in prime time every day, all day, then at a subconscious level, that tells you that it's acceptable. So even though you know better at a conscious level, and you know that the problems that could come from trying it, like the possibility and likelihood of becoming addicted, you can justify trying it because you say, it won't happen to me, or that can't happen to me, or, you know, it's not that bad, or I can overcome it if it does happen. You know what I'm saying? So you need to be aware of these things because the, the best thing that you can do is to avoid going down that path in the first place. Because what you want to do, all of us want to say, every, I know all of y'all want prosperity, happiness, health in your future. I know you want that. So you want to have to make decisions with that in mind. And when you're talking about taking the chances of uh, hustling and uh, promiscuous, Activity, you know, having sex with everybody like it's no big deal. And so, you know, y'all need to be consciously aware that you don't have to, well, not to allow yourself to be influenced by entertainment. Not be sure, make a conscious check yourself and make sure you're not trying to live out the lyrics you hear in these songs or the roles you see on TV because it's just entertainment. It is not supposed to be. If you want to follow behind somebody, some of y'all got good parents to try to tell you better. Follow behind them. A lot of them, like me, that have made some bad decisions, have already already traveled the path, and they're trying to warn you again. And you feel like, you know, because that's not what the common person is saying, that's not what the peers are saying about it, then they're out of touch and they don't understand it. And they got an old way of thinking. Well, they got a, you know, that wisdom comes with time. <laughs> because of how long they've been on Earth, they have experienced I mean, it is a new day, but the same principles apply, you know. It's just that at, at a younger age, you don't really look at the big picture. And so that also enables you to make decisions that are not necessarily in your best interest. But that's what they have, your best interest in mind. So they're telling you stuff based on the fact that they've already made the type of decisions that they know is likely for a team to make. And they want to warn you against it before you make it so you won't get set back the same way that they were from the bad decisions that they made. And if you're not set back like that, then that means you are positioned to make progress, make that money, get that car you want, all the things you want at a much earlier age. But you got to think it away now that allows you to make the decisions that are in your best interest and not for superficial reasons, not for superficial gains, not for silliness, you know what I mean? You got to think about your future when you're making these decisions. So you won't try uh, drugs, so you won't be depressed, so you won't give up your cookies to the cookie monster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. Real talk, truth to you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Please, please listen. I'm trying to tell you. And some of y'all, okay, some of y'all to call yourself hustlers, man. Let me tell you something. I know uh, it's glamorizing being the illest, the coolest thing on earth to do. I'm a hustler, I'm a gangster, I'm a thug. Forget about it, man. Some of y'all call yourself hustling, and you know what I'm talking about. You can't, if you get locked up, you can't even pay your, pay, pay your bail bonds. Your bail bonds. You can't even pay a lawyer if you can't pay your bail bonds. But you a hustler. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You're hustling backwards, man. So, why waste your time um, taking a chance on digging up your record? And you can't even pursue your real dreams, your real goal. You can't grab a hold to a real life and, and, and get the very good dream. But yet, we'll go and talk about being oppressed by somebody else. <laughs> yet, we'll go and talk about the problems in our community that is in existence because of what was done to our people and our ancestors and how we don't have opportunity. My man, my dude, look at what we are doing. Look at what some of the people that you may be following behind in the neighborhood are doing. And before we keep crying and complaining about being oppressed, then we need to look at the oppression that we are creating in our own neighborhoods, in our own communities. How you gonna rob your sister and brother? How you gonna break your sister? How 
how you gonna have a baby and you know you can't support a child? That's part of being a man, man. It's not putting a woman in that predicament, not putting a child in that predicament. We're supposed to protect our females. So, I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot to be said. As far as hustling, hustling ain't what it seems, you know what I mean? Yeah, you get the superficial uh, uh, media gratification, money in your hand, you, know, you can attain a, a material things, more the dough, but uh, the more the dough grow, and so does the level of stress grow and the likelihood that you're just gonna be popping, dropping, one or other, you know? That's all just a part of the game. And some of y'all feel like, you know, whatever, well, you know, if I go up a goal in the blast, well, it don't have to be like that. Some of y'all feel like it ain't hope you don't have um, 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 options, you know? You don't have choices to make uh, to get to where most people would want to go in the future, so you just gonna live life to the fullest way you can. That's another thing you keep hearing in entertainment. Everybody, man, there's more choices than you realize. You just gotta be exposed to the information in an environment that helps you to understand that you do have those choices. It's man, now on this, there are things in place and people who desire to see you to continue to go down. So they allow you to feel that you have no choices. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is, because these are, a different way. If you was brought up in an environment that didn't, that, that wasn't even capable of teaching you to look at life and think in a different way, then obviously you're limited to the way that you think. And you might think that you have no choices. Well, people know this, so why is teaching you another way of looking at life not a part of school in areas where that condition is a problem? Uh, you have to understand. So don't fall into the hands of whatever powers may be that wish not to see you succeed, that desires to see you feel limited and hopeless and therefore gravitate towards illicit activity, drug uh, use, uh, get depressed, or become a hustler, uh, call yourself a gangster, call yourself a thug. You need to realize that there are powers that be that hopes all of us will make those decisions. Because at the end of the day, what does that put you in five years, in 10 years? That puts you behind bars or part of their organization or part of the network that they can use, abuse, and enslave. How you gonna get a good job if you got a, a record, uh, a rap sheet three feet long? So guess what you are? You're either gonna stay doing what the people that serving you are doing or tell you to do, or you're either gonna be employed by somebody who's going to uh, just squeeze all they can from you for the least amount of money, and then you're going, I mean, what's the rest of your life like? What is the rest of your life like? You see? Because a lot of us look around. A lot of us make these bad decisions and then by 25, maybe 30, sometimes 35, sometimes 40, you finally come around to realizing that it's a dead end path and you want to fly right. But guess what? By that time, it's too late. You see what I'm saying? By that time, you got felonies. You got charges that an employer do not want to take the chance of having you in their place of business. And we all know people deserve a second chance, but trust me, it's easier to say than done on both ends. We realize that's but suppose you're an employee, and you look around the culture, you see how uh, everybody's filing lawsuits and um, everything. Well, an employer, depending on what the job is and what you're applying for, and what your skills are, and who you're going to be around and interact with, you know, no matter how bad an employer might want to give you a second chance, he's taking too much of a risk to put you in that place, and then something happened, whether it's on you or something happened, that ain't got nothing to do with you, but the fact you're there and somebody look at your background and it involves another person, they hire a lawyer, they look at it see that you work there and they see your background, then they can find a way to attach that to you. Y'all you, you know how to gain it. Life is not fair. That's another part of why this is so important to stay away from instead of feeling like you can overcome it because that's something else that you gotta take into account. Life is not fair. And that's why you even gotta have um, a good mind when you choose your friends. You gotta make you gotta you gotta you gotta think when you choose your friends because you may like now I ain't saying that you can't be friends with certain people, but if people that you end up being a friend with, you find out are doing a lot of stuff that could um, bring you down, then you can be their friend, but you can't spend all your time with them because you likely to get caught up in the same thing they get caught up with. So if you with somebody that's getting busted with a brick, then you know you might end up with a charge having nothing to do with it. And crying life is not fair, and it wasn't you, that's not gonna help you. You're stuck with it. And you're gonna have some consequences. So I'm just hoping y'all gonna listen to what I'm saying, man. This is true to you, you know what I mean? Team talk, real talk, true to you. That's what it is, this is good. Been there, done that. That's what's up.